Hello everyone, my name is Hal, this is Quail Studios Guitar. I'm going to teach you Yesterday, Paul McCartney, John Lennon, The Beatles. I play it a little bit differently than uh, Paul did or whoever was playing the guitar. The way I understand how they recorded the guitar was they tuned it down to a D tuning instead of E, A, D, G, B, E, it was the lowest string was a D, so a whole step down. They played a G chord. That sounds like an F chord. But it doesn't sound like a bar chord. It sounds like an open position chord. You know, but it's an F. But I'm not going to teach you there. I'm going to teach it to you in D because it's a little lower. Yesterday. I like to sing it there. The lowest note is a, a B note. If you need it higher, just put a capo on and play it the same way. All right, let's just get into it. I'll show you the chords. The first chord that I'm going to play is a D chord. The next chord is C sharp minor. Like that. To F sharp. To B minor. And then I let go of the B right there on the second fret A string. And I'm still playing the B chord, B minor chord with the A bass. But I'm going to show you exactly what I do there. I don't usually strum the whole thing. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Then we go to a G chord, A7. I'll play it like this sometimes, or I'll play it like this with these two fingers, second and third finger. Back to D, but usually when I come back to this one, I'll do it like that. I'll play the D with my a bar across with those two notes, because I'm the next chord after that is a D with a C sharp bass, B minor, B minor seven possibly to an E, back to a G and then a D. That's the verse. Suddenly, I'm not half the man I used to be. So we have basically four verses. And then we have two bridges. I don't know if there's really, there's not really a, a chorus in this song, so we don't really worry about that. F sharp 7, sus 4, or F sharp 7 sus, to F sharp 7, or F sharp. So either one, F sharp 7 sus 4, to F sharp 7, or F sharp itself, to B minor, A, G, oh, A chord. We hadn't talked about that yet. So there's my A chord. I usually use it with one finger. A7 again, D, and then we do the same progression over again. F sharp seven sus four to F sharp seven, B minor, A, G, A7, D. And those are the chords. Now let's uh, let's work on the right hand. So I start with the D chord. Yesterday, I'm just plucking those three notes with my uh, middle ring and pinky, and the index finger. You could do it with your thumb like this, thumb. Yesterday, C sharp minor. All my troubles seem so far away. C sharp minor. I do a rocking mo motion where I'm hitting that A string with my thumb, index finger on the D string. I pluck the other three strings with my middle ring pinky. And then I go to F sharp. Now I'm using the thumb on the low E string. And 
and then B minor. And then I do that for my B minor, B minor with an A bass. I'm really not playing the whole chord, but you could if you want to. So I pluck the bass note, the rest of the notes, and then the the, the open A string, and then right there the fourth fret on the D string. G, A, seven, D chord, C sharp bass. Sometimes I just C sharp bass by itself. B minor or B minor seven. I believe E in yesterday. So it goes like this. Yesterday, all my troubles seem so far away. Now it looks as though they're here. same thing uh, that was an accident hitting that a string and then we do suddenly C sharp minor F sharp B minor G to an a7 D C sharp bass B minor or B minor 7 to E G D and then what I did in my recording F sharp 7 sus 4. Why she had to go, I don't know, she wouldn't say. Like that. So I strummed it twice. 1, 2, F sharp, B minor, 1 strum, A, 1 strum, G, 1 strum, and then I. A7, bass note, D string, back and forth between the, the three strings, the G, B, and the E string. So it goes one, two, three, four, and then I did the D chord. D string, G string, B string, G string, E string, G string, B string. was such an easy game to play and then I went and played the rest of it G D and then you do the bridge again verse and when you get done with that you just go so it's D chord that same strumming pattern bass note that's the D string G string the B and the E strings back to the G string E chord and then G yesterday. Thanks for being here. Let's see, is there anything else I need to tell you? I do have a Patreon page and a Subscribestar page, or look up the PayPal link below and donate to me there, and uh, I can send you my book, which has this lead sheet and a lot of other songs that I've done, over 50 songs. It's over like 200 and, I don't know, something, 50 pages? Over that, I believe. It's got theory in the back and things like that. All right. Thanks for being here. We'll talk to you later. Bye.